local, honed his skills, learned the facts, became vocal. Then next, I was seeking a job. In the interview over at Prague, round the table, strange faces looked on. I was so glad to recognize John. Through the 90s, we worked side by side as Oxy was finding its stride. Set up programs and John wrote the grants with his humor and occasional grants. Back then, the computer was new, but John, he knew just what to do. Karen, stop hitting the bar after each line. You're driving me nuts. I said, fine. When my son Adrian got into Brown, John mourned with me how they'd turned him down. The fighting Irish did just fine by you. I hear Irish folks make fine friends too. When the time came, John told us to stick it because he wanted his name on the ticket. Publicity, that was the game to get everyone knowing his name. My home has the number one lawn that everyone wants their sign on. But John first had to come by my house to convince Rick he wasn't a louse. In our town, you were always invested. Bag the community river rolled and falls fested. When peer leaders came to your door, you showed them around and much more. You've represented us all to your best, keeping Boston aware of the West. Your work has been trusted and true. John, we all so we owe so much to you. But for my part, it hits close to home. In the work I've done, I've not been alone. When needed, you always came through. How much I've depended on you. I can't bear to say goodbye. The thought of it makes me want to cry. Instead, I'll just say happy trails, because I know friendship never fails. Thank you.